COVID stress is real. Are you worried you might lose a friend, a loved one, a child to anxiety, addiction, or suicide? If you're a King County resident, 18 or older, join the cause to spread hope by learning mental health first aid. Training is virtual and free at valleycities.org slash MHFA. Mental health first aid teaches you what to say and do, empowering you to be part of the hope solution to inspire and save lives. Sign up at valleycities.org slash MHFA. Funded by King County Mid Behavioral Health Tax Fund. Do you know anyone struggling with mental health? If you're a King County resident, 18 or older, you can help them by learning CPR for mental health. It's called Mental Health First Aid. Learn the five steps to help an adult or youth with anxiety, depression, psychosis, or addiction. Training is virtual and free at valleycities.org slash MHFA. Valley Cities Mental Health First Aid is funded by King County Mid Behavioral Health Tax Fund. You could be a lifeline with Mental Health First Aid. Go to valleycities.org slash MHFA. It's Charles Barkley. I want to ask you about Kyrie Irving, and I want to read this quote to you because he was fined by the NBA, the the, the Nets and Kyrie, $25,000 for failure to comply with the league's media rules. And then he put out this statement. I pray we utilize the fine money for the marginalized communities in need, especially seeing where our world is presently. He wrote this, Charles, and then he went on to say, I'm here for peace, love, and greatness, so stop distracting me and my team and appreciate the art. We move different over here. Wait for it. And then he finishes this by saying, I do not talk to pawns. My attention is worth more. What the hell is wrong with Kyrie Irving? Uh, you know, it, it, it's. I, I wish somebody would get in his ear. I, I do think there's something wrong with Kyrie. I truly believe that. I'm not joking right now because this is, like, I don't understand what his objective is. Like, yo, man, they're paying you $40 million. You got to just talk to the press. You can answer the questions you want to. You don't, you got to show up and answer questions. I tell all these guys, man, we're the luckiest dudes in the world. We make millions of dollars of playing a stupid game. And part of it is coming on radio shows, talking to the press. They got jobs to do. But I think there's something wrong with Kyrie. I think that. Yeah, I, I really mean that, and I, and I feel bad because I don't think he's a bad kid. I just think he—I he, just think he's never been around mature adults who told him how he's supposed to act. You know, I got lucky with Dr. J and Moses, Maurice Cheeks, and Andrew Toner. Like, yo, man, this is professional basketball. It's pro. We're pro players. You have to act like a pro, and uh, and clearly Kyrie. But now, see, but see, he's got so much money now, he can do whatever the hell he wants to do. Mm. Right. And that's the thing. We've, we've talked about him before. You know, you hear that phrase, he's a mercurial personality. I mean, and that thing to me is going to go sideways in two seconds anyway between Durant hey, and Hey, listen, just... we talked about a couple. I'm praying they get James Harden. <laughs> hey, 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 please get James Harden. And, and let me tell you, if they get James Harden, I want the exclusive rights to that reality show. I want to go to practice and game. I mean, the guys already told you they don't need a coach. Right. He said, we don't need a coach. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, everybody has a coach in the NBA and all other sports. He's not, me and Kevin going to run this thing, and the coach can work with us. I'm like, no, nah, Kyrie, it doesn't really. I mean, that was the first red flag to me. If I'm the new coach, uh, if I'm the new coach who's never coached before, like, he's on uh, his podcast, like, well, we don't really have a coach. Well, you probably should tell the coach that, not talk about it on a podcast. <laughs> And by the way, we Carl, we talked about this last week. You're in the number one media market in America. You've just alienated the meanest media in the world. You call them pawns. And listen, in a, and they're in that category because there's only a few category, teams in that category. Like, you either got to win the championship or you're going to get roasted. I mean, you look at Milwaukee, Philly, Boston in the East. You look at the Lakers, Clippers, and maybe uh, Denver. And Portland Trailblazers, who I think are going to be really good this year. Like, if you don't win the championship, your season is a failure. You see how they're killing the Clippers right now. And you're like, so, and, and listen, I, I don't understand that. But hopefully, you know, because I, I actually think him and KD are good guys. But, I, you know, but you see, that's the one thing about being famous and rich. Everybody around you is kissing your ass because they're on the payroll. <laughs> right. They're not telling you, like, yo, man, maybe you shouldn't do that. Or maybe you shouldn't say that. But I always tell people, to me, and I've been in this thing since 1984, and I've seen it. You guys, y'all been in this thing longer than me. 
you notice the people around you, man, they either help you or they hurt you. Mm. Uh, and, and I think both of those guys, like, yo, man, get some people around you going to tell you, like, yo, man, just talk to the press. Just talk to the press. That's part of the job. COVID stress is real. Are you worried you might lose a friend, a loved one, a child to anxiety, addiction, or suicide? If you're a King County resident, 18 or older, join the cause to spread hope by learning mental health first aid. Training is virtual and free at valleycities.org slash MHFA. Mental health first aid teaches you what to say and do, empowering you to be part of the hope solution to inspire and save lives. Sign up at valleycities.org slash MHFA. Funded by King County Mid Behavioral Health Tax Fund. Do you know anyone struggling with mental health? If you're a King County resident, 18 or older, you can help them by learning CPR for mental health. It's called Mental Health First Aid. Learn the five steps to help an adult or youth with anxiety, depression, psychosis, or addiction. Training is virtual and free at valleycities.org slash MHFA. Valley Cities Mental Health First Aid is funded by King County Mid Behavioral Health Tax Fund. You could be a lifeline with Mental Health First Aid. Go to valleycities.org slash MHFA. Max, do you feel like Kyrie should be forced to engage with the media? I mean, you, you can't force him to move his mouth and make words come out, right? But yeah, he should be penalized if he doesn't. Look, the bottom line is, this is typical Kyrie. He's trying to control the narrative or whatever he thinks he's doing. Life hit different. Is the point that he'll be taken out of context less or he can't be taken out of context if he just releases a statement? You can still take stuff out of context, Kyrie. Of course you can. Life hit differently this year, so I have to move differently. I just used ellipses there. And you can talk about that ad nauseum. He's, he's self-involved. He's not thinking about his team. See, Kyrie, I could do that, and, and others can, whether they're good, well-intentioned or not. It could be an honest mistake or it could be malicious. If you think the media is malicious or members of them have, have something out you know, against you or something like that, they can still do that. That doesn't make any sense. Or is the point that, that here's my statement? No, the point of media accessibility is to ask you questions. I know you'd like to talk what, about what you'd like to talk about, but the reason everyone's making a living doing this, including you, is because the media covers it and delivers it to the fans, the paying customer, right? And they have questions. And, and by extension, the media, in a sense, is an extension of them. Here are the things we believe, at least, the people would like to hear about. Now, if you think they'd like to hear about other things, too, go ahead, mention other things. But, but, but just to release a statement is like a scared way to behave. Do you feel that you can't articulate your point well enough just if uh, extemporaneously, that you need time to prepare a statement to try to make it ironclad? I mean, what's the point here? And to think that you're doing this now, where your star teammate, the best player on the team, is coming back from catastrophic injury, the media is going to have a lot of questions about the Brooklyn Nets playing in the biggest media market on planet Earth for a basketball star's fan base, and you're absolving yourself of the responsibility? of answering questions, so what, that all goes to KD now? You have to ask yourself, Kyrie, you might be the most skillful player who ever lived, especially given how high your talent is pitched. Whoever had handles like you, who could also finish in the paint, at least under the rim, who could also pass the ball, who could also shoot the ball, like Kyrie Irving. Why is it that every team you've been on, except for the one with LeBron James, has gotten worse with you on the court? That shouldn't be, that shouldn't be possible. Seems to me you're thinking a lot about yourself, and this statement reflects that. Stephen A., when I read it, I thought, typical Kyrie. He thinks he's being profound or deep or controlling the narrative or whatever he thinks he's doing, but it seemed to me to be inarticulate rambling and nonsense, self-involved nonsense. I appreciate all of those sentiments, Max Kellerman. So let me, let me get right to it and just answer the question. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to try to be diplomatic, but I'm going to try. I, I'm not going to hold back um, to answer the question directly. Molly and Max Kyrie Irving should not be forced to engage with the media. He doesn't want to talk to the media. Fine. We won't miss him. But here's the reality. He should be fined every damn day. He doesn't talk because you signed a contractual agreement. It comes along with your contract as an NBA player. This notion that you just get to go out on the basketball court and play. But you don't answer. You don't answer questions. You don't talk to the media, whatever. 
understand what the media is. The media is a conduit to assist the NBA and its players in promoting its brand. That way it facilitates you generating more revenue so guys like Kyrie can get paid. 33.4 million this year, 35 million next season, and then a player option to play it, to pay him 36.6 million in 22, 23, even though you fresh over playing 20 games last season. Okay. That's the situation with Kyrie Irving that everybody needs to address. The bottom line is this Kyrie Irving, as you said, Max comes across looking. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk about what he is because I actually think he's a good guy. I actually think his heart is in the right place, but I think he's immature. I think that he's occasionally selfish. And I think at, at this particular moment in time, he comes off as a, as a damn snob. He thinks people are beneath them and he's above it. He looks at the media as being inauthentic. That's what he thinks about the media. You know, everything that has happened to Kyrie Irving, that Kyrie Irving has self-inflicted. Go back and look at the tapes. Quote him. It's always the media. Always. You got something to say about LeBron? It's the media. You got something to say about your time in Boston? It's the media. You got something to say about wanting to move on? It's the media. You're in Brooklyn. Nobody has thought about you since the spring. You haven't played. The, the, the season was halted. You wasn't playing before then. You had shoulder surgery. You come at and then you're not even participating in the bubble. Because you're recuperating from your right shoulder. And still, you wanted to sit up there and implement yourself in the proceedings by talking about how the game should not be played. You weren't playing anyway while collecting $33 million. But you had something to say. And then when people responded, it's the media. You go on Kevin Durant's podcast and literally state, which we'll get into later, but literally state, that you know what? I mean, you, you, you're the first guy that I looked at and I said, hey, I, I trust you to make the last shot. And the media made up that LeBron might have a problem with that. Damn, you was taking a shot at, at LeBron. And you go on social media and literally state, hey, well, you know what? If I had something to say about him, I would say their name. Like, how dare us connect the dots and say one plus one equals two? You won a championship with a brother in 2016. Far be it for us to come to the conclusion that, oh, my God, you might have been talking about LeBron. Who else did you play with? Jay Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, that's who you were talking about. Not LeBron, who you won a chip with, who happens to be the greatest player in the world for the past decade. In Kyrie's world, it's always us. It's never him. No matter what he says, no matter who he says it to, no matter what. Hey, Max, you brought up. I tried to stop you from condemning him for talking about how the world was flat. The earth was flat. OK, you, they, you, they, guess what? That was you, Max. That, that wasn't him, Max. That was you. That was you, Max. It was your fault. It was your fault that Kyrie said that. Max. You put those words into his mouth. You forced him to articulate and disseminate that message to the world. You did that, Max. It's never Kyrie until he sits back, tapes it, takes a deep breath, pauses, and says, hey, you know what? As I reflect upon these things, I may have made a mistake here or there. You know, I got to be better than that. This young kid's watching as you reflect. But in the moment, one moment after another moment, after another moment, after another moment, it's always somebody else. So my response in closing is this. Yeah. If he doesn't speak, fine. We won't miss him. Show up on the court at the Barclays Center. Devil's advocate. Put on the show. Put on the show that you can put on because he is a sensational showstopper player. But if he doesn't want to talk, fine. Yeah. Just remind him to watch. you're the NBA of his contractual obligation and find his ass every day he doesn't talk. Because that comes along with Here's, your contract. Other than that, it's none of our business. Here's what. Guys, Here's can I play devil's advocate here really quickly Kyrie. since it Play seems you agree? Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just want to go. No, Max seems like he wants to say something. Go ahead, Max. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. 
All right. So basically, I was going to say this. You guys both have powerful voices in the media. Um, Stephen A., sports media, probably more prominent than anyone's. And you've had things misconstrued before, right? You've had things mm -hmm. taken out of context. People take clips. They grab them, et cetera. It's frustrating, sometimes infuriating. You want to go and defend yourself, or I don't know if you choose to just let it go. But... I mean, there has to be some merit in what he's saying here. Could could this actually, uh, you know, we know his mentor well, I, was I Kobe Bryant, right? Didn't he learn a lot from, didn't he learn a lot from Kobe in terms of how that. to handle these things? Maybe he feels like this is the better, better protocol, the better way. Kobe never, Kobe never released statements like this to my knowledge. Kobe always asked, answered questions. I was there in L.A. for always. five years. Kobe was present to answer your questions and face the media. He wasn't going to push that off on a teammate. If he ever did, it's not to my re recollection. And I addressed your point off the top, Molly, in the sense that if Kyrie's point is that it'll be taken out of context, he can be taken out of context with this quote as well. Here's the real issue with Kyrie. All of his public pronouncements, or many of them to me, seem to be about ego protection. Stephen A., it's like it's, it said, it's never his fault. It's always someone else's fault, right? When you release a statement, you control the narrative, right? I think he's justifying it. So he's going to control the narrative. See this? It's player empowerment and so, or something. But let me tell you how it actually reads to most folks. You're scared to answer questions because you can't articulate your point well enough, right? It's not just the media is going to twist it around. It's that you put your foot in your mouth. And this way, that's how it well, comes across. I'm afraid to answer questions because I don't do it well. So here, well, here's my statement. By the way, you don't do that well either, Kyrie. Uh, Your statements are not very Molly, clear. They're ambiguous. I don't know if Molly, that's fair to him. Ma ma go, go Molly, ahead, Stephen A. Yeah. Molly, to, to get to your point, that's Max's interpretation, and I, don't, I, don't, I get where Max is coming from. I'm coming from a different place. I spoke to Kyrie personally, directly. Mm -hmm. I will not repeat what our conversation entailed, that's between he and I, but I spoke to him yep. before, before I took this position. So I'm coming from an informed mm -hmm. position on that regard, and I am telling you yep. that I believe I walked away with the notion that it's always somebody else's fault. Kyrie Irving, to me, is a very articulate and intelligent dude, regardless of the mistakes that he has made. And he is a very good mm -hmm. guy in terms of his heart and soul being in the right place. Where I bring up words like immature and other things is the mm -hmm. fact that he's so interested in pointing the finger of blame. And what he is making a mistake of that Kobe Bryant never makes, that the Chris Pauls of the world don't make, that the Dwayne Wades didn't make, that LeBron James and others rarely if ever make, is that when you are an articulate young brother, capable of expressing yourself, you do yourself more harm than good by electing not to speak because you've given folks the license to interpret for themselves instead of you being direct and clear with what message you want to send. And he comes across as if he believes he's doing folks favors by speaking to them. Well, go ahead and do that mm. because guess what? He's going to find out what everybody finds out. The world moves right. on with or without any of us. I yeah. keep hearing I, how I articulate he is. It. Maybe he is. He does not show it publicly. Kobe.